from BMS Research Australia's research report, I'm Dr Hamish Campbell, and in this series we explore the research that's going on in Australia and around the world. In this episode, we meet Dr Natalie Payne. Dr Payne is engineering stem cells, hopefully developing a new novel way of treating MS. And here's what she had to say about her research. So my research is focused on uh, the use of cell-based therapeutics to treat MS. And the cell types we use um, are either pluripotent stem cells, and these are stem cells that can mature into any cell type found in the human body, as well as uh, multipotent adult stem cells. These are stem cells that are found in uh, specific tissues and organs, and they give rise to the specialised cell types present within those tissues and organs. So, for example, mesenchymal stem cells that are found in the bone marrow and give rise to fat, bone and cartilage, as well as neural stem cells found in the brain, which give rise to oligodendrocytes, astrocytes and neurons. Our research isn't focused on using uh, hematopoietic stem cells, which are used in HSCT. And the cells that we're using therapeutically are really uh, targeted towards trying to modulate the immune system as well as protect uh, cells within the CNS from damage and promote repair within the CNS by endogenous stem cells. So pluripotent stem cells are either embryonic stem cells or induced pluripotent stem cells. Embryonic stem cells are isolated from the inner cell mass of the developing embryo, whereas induced pluripotent stem cells can be derived when you take an adult cell and convert it back to an embryonic-like state. Both induced pluripotent stem cells and embryonic stem cells can then be turned into any cell type in the human body, and therefore these cells um, provide an ideal source for uh, cell therapy applications. So we know that to treat MS, we will need to target both the inflammatory and degenerative aspects of the disease. And preclinical studies have shown that stem cells have the capacity to convert an inflammatory immune response into an anti-inflammatory immune response. Stem cells also have the capacity to protect cells within the central nervous system from damage by the immune system, and they can also help to promote the body's natural repair processes. Stem cells are already in clinical trials to treat MS. However, our approach is to modify the DNA of stem cells to make a more effective cell therapy. So for example, we can modify the DNA of cells so that they express anti-inflammatory or regenerative molecules, and this will um, further promote their capacity to modulate the immune response and enhance repair within the central nervous system. We're also interested in using this type of approach to track where the cells go, how they persist, and what cell types they interact with in both the periphery as well as in the central nervous system. We're currently modifying the DNA of stem cells so that they overexpress different anti-inflammatory or regenerative molecules, and using different laboratory-based assays to assess how these molecules affect both the immune response as well as the response of uh, cells within the brain that will repair tissue damage. So as we learn more about the cause of MS and the genetic basis of disease, we may be able to design stem cells that overexpress a range of anti-inflammatory or regenerative molecules and target these to specific patients. Ultimately, our goal is to take our engineered stem cells to the clinic as a new therapeutic approach to treat MS. Now that's a brief overview of Dr. Payne's research into engineering cells to hopefully treat MS. As always, for more information, go to our website. Make sure you like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future research reports. I'm Dr. Hamish Campbell and I'll see you next time.